Hey guys, Stinger 30 here. Um, this is a project I've been working on now for the last few months. Um, is, yes, it's a motorcycle. It's nothing terribly flash. It's known as a Suzuki Cross. It's also known as a Suzuki GSX 250F. Um, nothing terribly flash. It's a double overhead cam, um, four cylinder 250cc bike. Um, nothing fancy, just gets me to and from work. Done a few little mods to it. I've got a few more mods to come on the way. A couple of things I've been and done is I've picked up off eBay a couple of these um, LED indicators on the um, new mirrors. Um, also a set of LEDs down the back. LED indicators. That but ugly looking sheepskin set cover. Mind you, I can't complain too much about my butt ugly sheepskin seat cover. It cost me a grand total of ten dollars. Picked it up from a local um, um, car shop. Um, it's for a, I think it's for a Mitsubishi. No, oh, I don't know. Mitsubishi something. I can't remember. It was made back in 1978, and they wanted ten dollars for it. So that's sweet. That'll do. Put thing on over the top of my seat. Let thing hang over the back. Grab a pair of scissors, chop thing up, it's alright. And you're probably thinking, why the hell did I do that? Because the seat underneath is still a stock original seat. This bike's 21 years old, and that rubber inside there shagged. Um, a new upholstered, oh, to get this seat reupholstered, I'm looking somewhere around about the $150, $200 mark. So that for 10 bucks, that'll get me out of trouble. Um, makes things a lot easier to ride. Well done, about a lot easier to ride, but certainly a lot more comfortable on my bum, that's for sure. Um, um, I fixed up a few bits and pieces on this bike, um, a number of many at least actually it runs a lot smoother. The main reason why I made this video, I wanted, actually wanted to have a quick check about, was a small mod that I've added to this bike to make my life a bit more safer on the road. Um, and actually sort of see the mod sitting up in here, it's actually called a Stebel Nautilus Compact Air Horn. It slaps out around about 130 decibels. You're probably thinking, why the hell have I got a, an air horn shoved on the front of this bike? That's because I'm sick and tired of idiots trying to run over me. Um, they like to come up next to me and put their indicator on, and then like to look at me, and then they try to try and wind up inside my fairing, much to my disapproval. So, next time some moron decides that to me, this is what they're going to cop. Hopefully that came out nice and loud and clear on this because it, my ears are ringing right now. It's incredibly loud. Um, if you have any friends that actually own a Honda Goldwing, it's very, very similar in loudness to that. Um, but yeah, an incredible horn. It's not, nothing very flash holding it up the front, mate. Just a couple of zip ties. I know I need to get myself organised and make a proper bracket, but that gets me into trouble for the time being. So, um, I've got a number of other mods that I'm working on, um, and some have not arrived yet that I need to, to add to the bike. So I'll be making a video about that in the next few more weeks, but this is just a bit of a teaser video to show you what I've been working on there for the past few months. See ya!